I made some changes to the user interface for the ALU. Uh, the Alcatry board that we're going to test this on has um, three switch banks, not four. So I got rid of the X high switch bank and tied them all together. And then I realized, well, to play with negatives, um, let's just tie all these high or tie them to where they can be tied high or low. So in this switch bank where we're able to set all the flags, uh, I added, I had two switches left anyway, so that was easy to just go ahead and make it so we can make the upper um, part of the uh, X and Y input, uh, the high part, high or low. So other thing I did is um, the way the Alcatry board is implemented in Logisim, uh, I tried to use LED arrays, but there was a bug that I have not fixed yet uh, regarding um, setting the voltage level on the LED array. So uh, I, I do have LEDs working with the board that I created. And so I switched those out for just discrete LEDs. So let's go ahead and synthesize this. So we've got our Alcatry board here. I've got some things unannotated, so let's annotate them. Okay, so we're going to make our flags switch bank, this switch bank here. And we're going to make the uh, negative LED, we'll put that one there, I suppose. And then all of our output, we're going to make these 16 LEDs right here. So this will be 0, 0. So we're going to make the X low input be this switch bank, and the Y low input be this switch bank. And then we have our uh, 0 flag, which will make this LED right here. So uh, I think that should do it. Let's synthesize and see what happens. Okay, let's load the design. It uh, finished. And uh, the Alcatry board is a little different uh, because the um, Vivado product does not support directly loading it. The uh, Alcatry vendor provides a loader, and that's what this loader program is right here. So we're going to go ahead and hit program. And it's done. And here's the board. So all of these, so these two switch banks, this is the X and this is the Y input for the ALU. And then this switch bank is the flag switch bank. These two switches on the end respectively switch the X and the Y upper inputs to all ones or zeros. They're low right now, so the upper input for both X and Y are zeros. This flag that's turned on right now is the function flag, and that's set to add. This LED that's on right now is one of the two output uh, signal indicators. The one's a negative, which is this one, and it's off. This one is the zero output indicator, and of course that one's on, and that makes sense because these 16 LEDs here are showing the output of the ALU. So since we've got this set to one, let's just do simple addition. So one plus zero is one, and that makes sense. And one plus one is two. So that's making some sense. Uh, let's add some negative numbers. So let's make Y negative one. So we're going to do that by turning on. So I turned on the upper eight bits to one on the Y register with that switch. And I'm going to turn on all the bits uh, for Y. Okay. So we have negative one in the, in the Y register here. And we've got the add function turned on and we've got, of course, the switch is turning on the upper bits for the Y function. The X in for the Y input, the X input is set to all zeros. So if we add one to negative one, we should get zero, and we do. So the addition seems to be 
seems to be working pretty well.